Hi again. Uh, in this brief lecture, I wanted to talk about the three concepts that I introduced in Chapter 2, uh, Business Ethics, Corporate Social Responsibility, and Sustainability, and really discuss uh, the differences as well as some of the complementaries between and among those three co uh, these three concepts. Um, oftentimes, as you may have well already understood from reading the chapter, those three concepts, ethics, social responsibility, and sustainability, are used interchangeably by many people. And to some regard, this is understandable because they all, to some degree, talk to the heart of the business's interaction with society, with something beyond just simply the financial maximization dictum that is often seen as the fiduciary responsibility, the primary responsibility of businesses, of for-profit businesses. But although they all speak to that, that social engagement, if you will, they come at the issue from different perspectives, from different levels, as well as different motivations. So I guess we'll start with, with business ethics. And what the text made clear to you is that ethics really is focused on a question of morality, what is good and what is bad. And, and, and what influences or informs the morality is different based upon individual. So it can be your culture, it can be your religious beliefs, it can be your familial institutions, or it could be a combination of those. In fact, many times that's the case where our, our ethics or our ethical uh, approaches are largely influenced by all the different institutional and personal, uh, uh, personal factors that are present in our life. But regardless of what informs your morality, what informs your ethics, the question is always centric is what is good and what is bad. Now, largely the way that business ethics is taught and business ethics is implemented in organization is from the, uh, from the approach of do no harm or do no bad. And so when we're looking at ethics and we're forming codes of ethics, mostly we are concerned about ensuring that people within the organization do not infringe upon the ethical uh, ethical codes or the ethical activities or the ethical approaches that we have established in the organization or in society. So we're really focused on ensuring that people do not break ethical laws. Now, ethical laws, and I'm sure you saw that in your, in your chapter, ethical laws aren't always synonymous with the actual laws of a land. They it can include, in many instances, those legal, those hard laws, if you will, but they also encompass what we consider to be soft laws, things that society frowns upon, even if it is not necessarily um, uh, illegal, okay? So when we're talking about ethics, we're largely talking about what to not do, and that's really the focus, to, to, to not do harm. Uh, once we move into social responsibility, that focus shifts a bit. It's less concerned with, with doing harm and more so concerned with, about uh, I should say, concerned with doing good. And so when we talk about social responsibility, corporate social responsibility, our focus is then shifted to what the organization should do in order to make a positive contribution to society. So rather than focusing on not breaking laws, we're really uh, talking about what the organization can contribute in terms of its stakeholder engagement. How can it make better quality products, for example? How can it invest in, in society and what society needs? How can it, it help uh, um, cure some of the ills of society? So, so, so giving in terms of corporate philanthropy, that, that, that is a good that we believe as uh, an organization can do. As I talked about, making quality products, uh, saving or, 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 or investing in environmental uh, protection as well as, as environmental management. So again, CSR, trying not to do harm, but going beyond that to focus on what the organization should do to actually do some good. And then sustainability even goes a step beyond that because it, does, it doesn't just speak about you know, the fact that the organization should do good, but it starts really encouraging and, and investigating how that good should actually occur and how should it be implemented, uh, implemented. And so we start looking at how as a people, as a society, as an organization, we can contribute 
to the positivity of our existing society, but at the same time preparing ourselves to help future societies, future social iteration. So the issue of sustainability goes just goes beyond just doing good now and really again encourages a consideration of how our actions, how our behaviors today, how can they positively impact our lives as well as the lives of, of, of our of our generations to come in the future. And so that's kind of the progression. So going back ethics, really focusing on doing no harm, social responsibility considers doing good, and sustainability goes a step further to discuss how, in fact, that good should be done to encourage and to promote that level of, of uh, progressiveness and, and, and sustenance into the future. So, again, the similarities are there. They're focused on social interaction. They're, 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 they're encouraging the firm to think beyond just shareholder wealth maximization. Every one of those uh, areas, every one of those constructs has an order of social consideration. The f motivation, however, of course, differs from ethics, social responsibility, and sustainability. And it's that motivation, one, in, in ethics to do no harm, secondly, in CSR to do good, and then thirdly, sustainability to protect and preserve the future. That motivation helps to some regard distinguish. The other thing that can, that can help distinguish between ethics and social responsibility and sustainability is the level, excuse me, the, the level of consideration or the level of, of, of what we call actor. In ethics, the one, the actor that we're most concerned about is the individual. Individuals tend to make ethical decisions. So we're looking at what personal decisions are made within an organization based upon ethical conduct. Secondly, CSR is what we consider to be a much more of an organizational construct. So the social, we don't necessarily talk about the social responsibility of an individual. We often talk about the social responsibility of an organization or corporation. So that's more of the, at the organizational level. What is the organization doing? Of course, it's doing it through its people, but these people are often working in a coordinated effort to bring about some good. And then sustainability, while it does encourage the organizational level, it even transcends that organizational level to go into the social level, okay? What as an organization, what as a, uh, what as a people we're doing in social society to help our future generation. So, so, so the level, if you will, of consideration uh, uh, increases or hierarchical within these three constructs. Ethics, again, in the individual, CSR more so the organizational, and then sustainability, even greater uh, inter-organizational, or even one could argue social. All right? So hopefully this helps in some way to explain the distinctions, but also demonstrates the, the, the similarities and the complements between the three.